What's up guys? Justin here with the realtimeessentials.com. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to import Sketchfab models into Unreal Engine so you can use them in your projects. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so remember that Sketchfab is one of the largest online repositories of 3D models that you can actually download and use inside of different projects. Well, they have a plugin for Unreal Engine that you can use in order to download their models directly into Unreal Engine. So I will link to a blog post where they talk about their updated version of this, but let's walk through how we can install this plugin inside of Unreal Engine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to follow the link from inside of their blog post where it says get the Unreal Engine plugin. What that's going to do is that's going to pop up their GitHub page right here where you can download the Sketchfab plugin. So from there, you just want to scroll down and you want to find the version that matches up with your operating system and your version of Unreal Engine. So as of right now, they have these three um, Unreal Engine 4 versions as well as a version for Unreal Engine 5. So there's also an instructions page showing you what to do with this. But what we want to do is we want to download that zip file and then we want to unzip it and put it in the, we actually want to put it in the engine directory. So we're going to take that file, we're going to unzip it, and then you want to go find your engine installation file. And so you want to find whatever version you're using. You want to go into the engine folder and you want to take that you want to take that file that we extracted and you want to drag it into the plugins folder. So I'm going to drag this into the folder right here. And then once we've done that, we want to open up Unreal Engine. All right, so then once you open up Unreal Engine, um, if you have that plugin in your engine folder, you should have a window Sketchfab Asset Browser. That's going to open up a browser window inside of Unreal Engine. You can click on the button right here to log in. And then once you're logged in, you can select these models and you can download them. So the first thing to note about this is what you can do is you can actually double click on models in order to see information about them. So for example, um, I'm looking at this toy boat file, which is a smaller file, which is why I'm looking at it. But the most important thing you wanna pay attention to is the license information. So what's required to use this model. In this situation, right, um, I'm basically giving attribution by saying this is the toy boat by say a pin underscore Z. Um, but you need to go read that license and figure out what it means for you from like using different things for your games. But um, you can see information about the models here. You can view it on Sketchfab, or you can click on the button to download the model. And so when you download the model, it's gonna download that for Sketchfab, and then you can take it and you can drag it into your content browser in Unreal Engine. So this one, for example, if I drag this in here, it's gonna ask me a couple different things, like do I wanna merge meshes? Do I wanna apply transform? And the last two, which are really important, which is do you wanna import the materials and do you wanna import in a new folder? So I currently am checking all of these. Import in new folder is especially important to me because I wanna make sure that I keep all of my assets organized. But once I do that and I click on import, that's going to create a folder in here with all of the different assets, including um, the static mesh that you can bring into your model. So now if I drag this into Unreal Engine like this, notice what it's going to do is it's going to bring the model into Unreal Engine. Then I can move this around just like any other model. So you can see how this comes in with all the materials already set up, the mesh is already set up, so it's really easy to use. Now I have brought a couple of these in and they come in with like a transparency to them. I'm not 100% sure how to fix that, so if anybody knows, let me know. But for most of your models, it's gonna be really easy to bring these in and start working. All right, so let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.